A cortege bearing the remains of Justice Ruby Opio Aweri arrived at the judiciary headquarters at 10 a.m. where a special Supreme Court session was held to hear an application to eulogize him. He's the second Ugandan jurist to receive the honor after former Deputy Chief Justice Leticia Chikonyogo. His family and colleagues remember him as a hard-working, soft-spoken, intelligent jurist with unmatched integrity who rose through the ranks from a grade one magistrate in 1983 to become a Supreme Court justice in 2015. The way people like saying, now Justice of you is gone, he has a child or children here and there, no, that's not his spirit. That is not my father's spirit. Nobody should think in that line. You should only encourage us to work hard and earn what is due to us. Justice Mwata is here. One day he asked me, he said, but you man, your father doesn't speak about you when it comes to these, uh, you know, promotions and others. I said, but we don't, that's not our, our style. Mm -hmm. For us, you fight like a man. As a magistrate, as a judge, as a, uh, as a justice in any of the appellate courts, his record at the commission for 40 years is clean. Those of us who have had the honor to appear before him in different courts where he served will testify to his composure, intellect, hard work, effortless grasp of the issues, and an impeccable knowledge of the law. He also loved to plant trees to preserve nature. We sat under the mango tree. He had a very nice mango tree with the most delicious fruits. And why he invited me was to give me a lecture on how I should plant trees. And indeed, before I left his home, he packed three boxes of three types of trees. And he put them in my vehicle. I'm a president of Ujoa, but a judge of the High Court then, in our time, to find him chatting with a registrar, my friend, all of you know that there are judges here, if you met them in the corridor and you said, how are you, my lord, you say, do you have, do you lack what to do? Why do you have to be written? <laughs> now, in this building, but... This gentleman fallen here was not of that kind at all. At the time of his death, he was inspector of the courts, and it was his report that informed the judiciary's strategy to litter the country with courts of law. And part of my agenda to transform the judiciary and have courts of the judicature littering the countryside was informed by the report I received from the chief inspector. The practical need to avail our people judicial services. The body left for his residence in Kawanda, Wakiso district for an overnight vigil. A funeral service is to be held on Tuesday at All Saints Cathedral, Nakasero at 10 a.m. before a session in Parliament and thereafter lie in state. On Wednesday, 7 a.m., the bodies plan to leave Kampala for Lira City before a joint district council session sitting at the City Hall and a vigil at senior quarters in Lira City. On Thursday, there will be a service at St. Augustine's Church, Barogore, at 10 a.m. before the remains depart for an overnight vigil at the burial grounds in Achunga Peng Cell in Kachung Western Ward, Agwata Town Council, for a state funeral. Edward Mhumza, NTV.